when it comes to email marketing, what you're going to do is build on the success you've already established in your list building efforts, and now you're going to get the most out of that list in terms of making sure that the people on it are going to be absolutely delighted to continue opening your emails, reading your emails, and clicking on the links that you place inside your emails. And that is easier said than done. It, you know, it's going to be hard work building your list in the first place but now you've got to maintain that list and you don't want people deleting your emails when they receive them you don't want them unsubscribing from your list um, otherwise it, you know it's just complete waste of effort so email marketing I've dedicated a whole module to it because it deserves a whole module it's something that if you can get right is going to make a, a huge difference to your bottom line profits um, and how well you do and not just in when it comes to product launches but also emails that you send out to your list all throughout the year whether it be giving them some content whether it be just taking a survey with them whether it be asking them what kind of things they want whether it be promoting one of your existing products um, whether it be some kind of pre-launch lead-in for something that's coming in the future or whether it be some affiliate promotion for somebody else's product everything that you write in emails needs to come across and make sure that people are going to continue to read them the, there's two most important elements that go together when when putting um, an email out is number one is the subject line and everybody thinks yeah yeah you gotta come up with a good subject line and absolutely true and we've got a, a video all about that and number two is who the email is from and this may sound completely obvious but there comes a point that if you become too repetitive in what you're sending out one promotion after another after another the people receiving your emails when they see you know an email coming from John Smith dropping in their inbox they think oh no it's just gonna be another promotion even though it may not be because they know who it's from they're just gonna hit that delete key and that's exactly where you do not want to be and the only way you're going to avoid that is not going down that route in the first place. So it's all about the six stars here of email marketing. I'm just going to talk through them briefly. And top left, we've got excite and tantalize. You've got to get the people on your list excited about what, what you're going to be offering and what, what's coming their way over the coming weeks with more emails get them tantalizing get them foaming at the mouth that they're actually interested in what you're gonna um, be offering them and on the same subject you, you're gonna get them in such a state where they're yearning for something they really want to get what you're going to be offering them and they're gonna look forward to receiving future emails um, so that's what you're aiming for and the way you get there is by building rapport with your target audience you've got to build that trust you've got to connect with them um, it, and therefore the, the way you do that is using their language and talking on their level so you, you know throwing th phrases that, um, that that they're gonna understand yet yeah, you know I, I know where this person's coming from he, he, he's you know dropping in key phrases that are all parts of that market uh, and basically it's going to help in terms of the, uh, the the bonding you have with your prospects and what this leads on to is having some belief and certainty that um, if, if you can get that trust with your prospects that they're, they're gonna know that what's coming their way they're gonna have assurance that that you're sending out some emails and you're giving them the belief and the certainty that what you're doing is absolutely right and it's absolutely what they're looking for um, and they're more likely to, to follow through and, and continue to see what else you're going to have to offer because let's face it some of them are probably thinking is this person for real you know this is probably a scam because we all know that you know everything on the internet is a scam and the way you could get around this really is by proving that you're genuine proving that you're real maybe by doing something like 
a teleseminar and get yourself on the phone get people to to you know dial in um go on skype and connect into your webinar your teleseminar and be able to talk to you for real and know that yes it's a real person at the end of the line and that's kind of you know blowing away all the, the myths about you know yes this person is just hiding behind a website you know it's just a smoke screen he's not really for real and that kind of leads on to the next point which is all about evidence and authentication and what you're trying to do here is give a, a testament and provide some proof of what you've actually achieved and show people real examples of the the earnings you've made or um, the, the kind of achievements you've made in your particular niche and then the the sixth star is to give people lots and lots of examples if you can give them sample case studies a sample of your product give them a taste of what it's about then people think yeah I can actually see what's coming my way it's not all just smoke and mirrors and people are gonna really appreciate you know the the, the ethos of how you've gone about your email marketing.